Okay. Sorry, he said he cannot see you now. What? That is what he said. He needs rest. Did you tell him who came? I told him it was you, late Onowu's son. It's happening. Hey, who is after my bed What is happening? Who is after my bed The chief priest said that none of the Onowu's son came to report Ono's death. I told him I did. He walked me out of the shrine. This is serious. <laughs> then I went back to the palace to tell the Igwe what the chief priest did. At least he can bear me witness that I came to report my father's death. Guess what I saw? What? I saw Uncle Tio and Ndote coming out of the palace. They were just laughing and laughing and laughing why they want to enter the car. What did they go there to do? That's my question. Suddenly, he was started talking from both sides of his mouth. Do you understand? And the chief priest denied that he did not come to the, to the palace to report my father's death. And even they would refused to see me. He didn't see you? Not at all. Not at all. First time in the history, you were told the guards to tell me that he cannot see me. First in history. Even the blind can see the handwriting on the wall. It's becoming clearer. Maybe it's obvious these people are playing a fast one on you. They are trying to play a fast one on you. And my question is why? I still ask why? What are they going to gain from this? From this act of wickedness? What are they going to gain? What? Baby, just don't relent, okay? Oh. You need to be strong and fight. You have to fight. Until your enemies go into hiding, you have to fight. Yes. You have to fight. You're my lion. You have to fight. Where's Uncle Tio's room? Uh, Uncle Tio, he is not staying in this uh, place again. If you lie to me, what I'll do to you is sell my thing and make it back. Where's Uncle Tio's room? I, I can't lie to you, Olga. He's no longer staying here. I saw him with my brother at the palace yesterday and you're telling me that they don't longer stay here. What do you mean by that? Huh? Uh, uh, Olga, okay, you can check at the voice quarter yourself. You... Uh, actually, again, where is your room? Where is this room? Hey, hey, uh, 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 Table room, Eddie. My top guy right with you now. Hey, hey. Uh, he's no longer staying. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, if I hear your voice here, no one gave him to walk out the idiot. Go 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 and check yourself. I say it's not here. Okay. I've come to ask you. What you went to the palace to do yesterday with Uncle Tio? What kind of question is that? Answer my question. <laughs> and why should I answer that stupid question? You called my question stupid. Of course, it's a very stupid question. You said we ask him, you know reason I'm? Why are you asking me what I went to do in the palace yesterday? Like, like I'm your maid. I'll be willy willy, your, your pet dog. Do you know why I asked? No, whatever reason it is, just keep it to yourself. I don't care. Why are you asking me what I went to do in the palace? Did I ask you what you went to do in the palace yesterday? Or were you not there to see the king? Listen and listen carefully. Whatever you people are planning, whatever it is that you're planning, going to fail. Do you understand? Because whoever that tries to deprive me of my betrayal will not succeed. And I will not watch that happen. Do you get that? Wait. Is this what this is all about? Eh? Ibuna, Imani, Iweli fellow. 
No, are you not ashamed of yourself? Did you just hear what you just said now? Which bet right? You know, it's only a madman that fights a war he created by himself. For himself. And against himself. Who is after your bet right? Me. After your bet right. Eh? Look, let me tell you one minute. With or without father's wealth, I'm still balling. I'm still doing very well. Even if you cease everything to yourself, I don't care. Again, I'm now, I don't care. Even if I'm giving that Onowu's title for free, I will still dash it to you. Because I don't need it. Hey. Are you not ashamed of yourself? What? So all this your nonsense attitude is, is because of... Watch your tongue. At all. I said... Walk around. Don't, 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 don't tell me nonsense. Watch your tongue. Now he was my girl. Can you imagine? Bet right. Bet right. Shame on you. Hey. Shame on you. Watch your tongue. My girl. Watch. If actually he's not interested in being the Ono, what then is the meaning of the dream I see every day? Why is the king alongside the chief priest playing games on me? What is actually going on? For God's sake, don't tell me you believe what your brother said. Why wouldn't I believe him? Oh my God. I know I married a smart man and not a dumb fool. Don't make me feel otherwise. No, no, no. Where exactly are you driving listen, at? Listen, listen. Your brother will not let you know he's doing an underground work against you. He will want to make you feel that he's not interested in the no title or your late father's wealth. Just so he removes your mind from what you're planning to do and then he will attack you. Oh! You have a point. Yes, I have a point. He is now aware that you know what they know. So he's trying to make you remove your mind from there so that he's going to attack you. Then why would he want to be so greedy as to want to take me? Will you stop asking me stupid questions and ask? Position. Okay, how do you want to act? What kind of action do I take? My husband, in situations like this, okay. you don't need to wait for them to act first. You launch the first attack. Yes. Else, you're going to take the first blow, and I'm not going to sit here and watch it happen. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, this is Mrs. Ebuna. Dipio, please. I need your boys to come meet me where I am right now. 
and it just just assaulted me. She almost killed me. Please, please, just send your voice. Yes. I'm at Good News Plaza, the one by the Express. Is there any problem? Hey, Mr. Man, where is your madam? Uh, my madam is upstairs. Now, go and tell her that some policemen are here to see her. Fast! Auntie Jen, do you have quarrel with me? Are you deaf? Will you go inside and call your madam? Need to hear them? Come on, go inside and call her! Jen is outside with some policemen. They say they want to see you. Policemen? Yes. Do you have quarrel with them? <laughs> so she actually called the police on me. It's okay. Go out. Tell them I'm coming. Okay, ma. Anything else? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, let me tell them that you are coming. Very well then. You know what? Let's go inside. I know my way. Come. She's coming. She she's coming. Okay. Wait, she's coming. Here she is. So the Nigerian police has been your backbone the whole time. What are you waiting for? Arrest her! Madam, you're under arrest. For assault and attempted murder. You... you don't have to stress yourself, officer. Save the sermon. I will go with you to the station because my lawyer is on his way already. Follow me. Move it. Move this woman, Sergeant. I will call you back. I'm rushing to the police station now. Police station? What happened? A Buna's wife called police for my wife. She got my wife arrested. What? Yes. L let me call you back, okay? So I can concentrate. Hi. Okay, dear eh? Please, don't fail to call me when you are done, eh? Okay, my dear. Alright, bye. Ebuna. 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 At the end. Know himself to me. Hey, you'll be coming to the station anytime your attention is being needed. That's not a problem, Barrister. What exactly happened? Please, let's just talk about this when we get home. I'm tired. Please. Um, my friend, um, this is a family matter. And I believe we'll handle it maturely. So 
Jen followed you up to the car to fight you? I am telling you. I dealt with her. I taught her the lesson of her life. <laughs> this nonsense has to stop. I have to do something about it. It's getting out of hand. Anyway, I wouldn't want you to bother your pretty head. Like I said earlier, I dealt with her seriously. Just let it slide. You know the problem? They are yet to realize that they are losers. <laughs> but war unto them. They will continue to be losers. Look at Jane. Jane. It is our privilege to see the next owner of this kingdom pay me a visit. Thank you, my elder. You know, our people say that when a woman is running and holding her breath, then nothing is after her. Maybe she's running for nothing. But when she's running and leaving her breast bare, either she's after something or something is after her. You are a true son of your father. Thank you. My father told me that the you know whose ship remains in our family for the next two generations and I shall be made the next owner of this kingdom after him. Then unto my son, when I'm no more. Again, you are a true son of your father. My father told me that I shall return the owner who kept her and the news of his death to the palace. All after three months that I shall be made the next owner of this kingdom. That is our culture and tradition. Okay, my elder. It's almost three months now, and I did all that that my father told me. Returning the scepter and sending the news of my father's death to the palace. I don't know what is holding them from making me the next Ono of this kingdom. Is it that? The Baba doesn't know how to bow, or the cutter is not sharp. So I came to confirm from you as one of the elders on in council to know what is going on. That is right, my son. When a child desires what rightfully belongs to him, it can no longer be seen as a taboo. I shall take your message to the palace and to this effect, summon the elders a council and make sure I get back to you within the shortest space of time. It is okay, my elder. Thank you so much. I will appreciate if you do that for me. I shall do that, my son. Thank you so much, my elder. I will take my leave now. But well, before I leave, I want you to have this. Hmm? Hmm? For me? That yellow moss and eat them at night. God bless you, my son. Save Johnny. It shall be well with you. Igwe, may your days be longer than your forefathers. It shall be well with you. Says. Igwe, it is no longer news that the office of the Onowu of this kingdom has been vacant since the death of our last Onowu, Onowu Echezona Okoro. And according to our tradition, three months after the death of an Onowu, and if it is still in the power of the family to present the next Onowu, the first son of the Onowu should be made to take over from where his father stopped. Man. You have spoken very well, Ichi. You are the true son of your father, Ichi. <laughs> ah. hmm. Since the office of the Onowu has not left the last family of the Onowu, and it has been more than three months since his burial, why haven't the first son taken over from where his father stopped? Your question is in order. But don't be too fast to forget that it is not the king, but the chief priest. It is the chief priest that has the powers to such ordinances, not the king. Since the chief priest is not doing anything about it, and it behoves on the Igwe to 
ask questions because we cannot keep on waiting for the chief priest. You are very right. Yes. Yes. In that case, we have to send messages across to the chief priest for him to join us here in three days' time for the next meeting. The meeting went well. Everybody accepted the fact that the time is long overdue. So, the ego is someone of the chief priest to be a part of our next meeting so that he could explain to us why he has been delaying the handing of our process. And when is the next meeting? Three days from today. Okay. I really do appreciate. I, I'll come home again to know the outcome of the meeting. Mr. Badro. Okay. Thank you so much. Eh? It's all right. Send me your account number. I will. Yeah. Sit. Go where my son. Did you tell Ishe that you've met with the chief priest before? Do I look stupid in your eyes? I did not tell him anything. <sighs> That's good. It's better the way the Igwe has summoned him before all the elders. Let him say before the Igwe that none of us brought the news. And let's see what Igwe will tell him. It's time to expose them. Now we'll find out all they've been planning behind our back and we expose them. You see, this step of going to Akrika was timely. <laughs> you see, if you hadn't listened to me, you would still be here while your younger brother gets crowned the novel. The gods will never allow that wickedness. They will never. They will never. It's all right, baby. Let me go serve your dinner. Okay. Oh, when it is happening, who is after my bad ride? Hey, but tell me about you, let's eat my bad ride. Are we crossing? Are we crossing? brother bought for me. He practically started fighting me for no just cause. Now he is spreading lies, falsehood about me that I'm trying to take away his birthright. It's okay, uncle. At least he doesn't know where you stay now. He couldn't reach for a physical fight. That was why he resorted to spreading false information about you. 
Oh. Oh. I'm only bothered that people will get to know the truth soon. Oh, I don't care. I could let them know, okay? They need to know how he's been treating you since the death of your brother. Let them know the truth. He's the one treating you bad. Is it because you've not gone, go, gone to, to, to get a tank cry to tell everyone what, what he's been doing to you? Call your husband now. What is it again? Just do as I said. Last night, as soon as I left you. Okay, and he said what? He said that I should come to the palace for an important discussion this morning. Are you scared of anything? Take me to the palace. Okay, let me give you something. Tell His Majesty that we are here. He is out already. Is he with someone? No, sir. Decided to let the sleeping dog lie. No, that was wrong. It's not the right thing for you to have done. That house belongs to you. He has no right whatsoever to take away the house your brother built for you. Everybody knows the bond between you and your brother. And that bond is on the lips of everybody in this kingdom. Is this the way he's going to take over from his father as the owner of this kingdom? Exactly my thought. Igwe, I decided to let him be. He is now the new landlord. Lies. These are blunted lies, Theophilus. As far as I'm concerned, that house still belongs to you. I will make sure that you goes back to your house. I will use everything within my power to ensure that everything he has taken away from you is being restored. If he fails to take my orders or my instruction, I will ostracize him from this kingdom. And that right he's looking for will be taken away from him and be given to another person. What nonsense! But I'm even giving him a listening ears. What an insolence! Pico, Pico, let your anger subside. Theophilus, my anger will never subside until I see you 
going back to that house, possessing your possession, until I see or hear from the news that your name has been restored back to the company's payroll. If not, oh, I will use every blood in me to fight him. Nonsense. You bet on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. If you go in me, you work in your way. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? If you love me, you work in your way. Someone who's not fighting back Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall and getting up You did not even wait for me to get home before you got here. Yeah, I heard your voice on the phone, you know, calling me to come over. I hope all is well. All is not well. What is the problem? The Igwe is very, very upset with you. The Igwe? Yes. What have I done? I wouldn't know. I went to the palace. As I was about to enter the palace, I saw your brother and your uncle leave the palace. And I heard Igwe threatening hell on someone. When I inquired of the people around what the problem was, they mentioned your name. And I became very weak. Mm. I know all the practical steps they are trying to take. Okay, I know that my uncle... They're working tirelessly to deprive me from my birthright and give it to my younger brother. Even last night, I saw it in my dream. They're working tirelessly to achieve their evil desire. He wants to give the honor to my younger brother. Why will Theophilus do a thing like that? They have been going to see the king at my back. They've been planning on this for a very long time. But the more they plan, the more I see it in my dreams. But let me tell you something. I will not allow anybody to deprive me from my birthright. Not even the Igwe. Nobody. <sighs> that will be very bad if the Igwe decides to join them to do such evil. Anyway, one thing is certain, the gods are watching. Yes, they are. Anyway, tomorrow is the D-Day. We shall all hear from the mouths of the gods. Okay, Chief. It's all right, let me get you something. It's okay. I told you. I told you. Someone that's wicked do not need you to do anything wrong to him before he unleashes his anger on you. I told you! If I knew, I wouldn't have spared Uncle Tio. Okay. I would have taken his life. I would have taken his life. What evil have I done to him? What evil have I done to Uncle Tio to deserve this? 
he has succeeded in gaining the king's heart against me. So that they will do that which they planned to do, but they will not succeed. They will never succeed. They will never ever succeed. I, Ebuna, the first son of Ono Echesna, shall be the Ono of this kingdom. One. And if anyone dares to stand on my way, I am going to crush that person. I am going to crush that person. the king or anybody I Echisna will crush that person I mean I I am going to crush that person now you're talking be ready to crush I mean I am going to crush I We all know why we are here. But while waiting for the arrival of the chief priest, there is something that is bothering my mind. And I want to say it out here. Igwe, go on. This boy that came here asking me to give him the mantle of Ono worship for him to start from where his late father stopped. That same boy went ahead causing problems here and there. He chased uh, Theophilus, the most beloved late father's brother, out of the house which his, his uh, brother, late Ono, will build for him. He did not stop at that. He seized all the vehicles that the man was driving. He removed his name from the company's payroll. And yet, this is the person that wants to be our new Ono. Instead of him following his father's footsteps, he's causing problems here and there. If I may suggest, I want to say that Anything concerning the confirmation of Ono Wushi be suspended until he do the right thing. That is my suggestion. Igwe, may you live long. Go on. Igwe, in my own opinion, I would say that decisions taken in a hurry have never been the best in the history of my kind. Since we have already sent for the chief priest to come tell us why he has been delaying the handover process, I suggest we hear from him. Let us tackle that issue first when it is time to do the handover process proper. We will now tackle this issue and that of his uncle. Yeah, that's a wise talk, Ichi. That's a wise thing. It's okay. It's okay. If not, I'm annoyed with that boy. I am annoyed. You have to tell us come back. Esibe me sibe ne de majo asoba ma asoba ne de majo ne de me ko hosiri de muri akwa kuku ne be ni ten yololo mya wonne mya wonne Igwe greetings custodian of truth and love peacekeeper of our great kingdom I greet you Igwe Oburuburu one of Amozara kingdom. Greetings from the gods of this land. Wise one, you are highly welcome. Without wasting further time, 
We all know that it's over three months now already that our Onoho died and was buried. And the tradition handed over to us by our ancestors demands that after three months of the death of Onoho, a new worm will come up to replace him. And this will be the portion of his first son. Chief Priest, since then, we've been waiting on you to come up and tell us what should be done as regarding this. But nothing comes from you. you. You kept quiet. And that is why we called on you to know why. But none of his sons has brought the news of the death of the Onu to this palace. The sceptre is still with them. Wise one. His first son came here breaking the news of his late father's death to me. And he came with the sceptre. Your Majesty, the gods are saying otherwise. None of his family members has brought the news of the death of the Onu. Until they do the needful. The office of the Nobu remained vacant. Wise one, from what you have said, it, does it mean that uh, Ebuna is not uh, our late Onowo's first son? Because he's the one that came here breaking the, the news to me and he came with a sceptre as I said before. The late Onowo has a brother. It is him, only him, that has answers to what you seek. Anam. There is confusion here. Fellow Chiefs, the great king of the land. I greet you. This is very, very complicated. But then, how do we now find out the truth? <clears throat> Igwe, without wasting our time, I suggest we invite a priest from another kingdom. But the chief priest already told us how. <clears throat> <clears throat> I am confused. See, it's not as if I am doubting what the chief priest said. But you and I know that the first son of our little Novo is Ebuna. Ebuna. Yes. Anyway, to, to cut this story short, we have to involve the family members to Please. sort it out. You have spoken. That this is what we are going to do. Igwe. The Igwe is in order. If truly that boy is not Onohu's boy, he can never be the next Onohu. And who is talking about being the next Onohu? If the boy is truly not Onohu's blood, he cannot stay in this kingdom. That's correct. Because our customs and tradition forbids us from keeping on another man's son. His origin must be traced and sent back to his real father. Failure to do so, a great calamity, will befall this land. No, 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 no. And we, we cannot afford No, to we can't take that. We won't accept that. No, we can't accept that, please. There's time for everything. Hey, Che, what is going on? You're not talking to me. This story is not a good one at all. What is going on, Ichir? I hope you've not joined them to deprive me of my birthright. What birthright are you even talking about? What is going on here? The Igwe has summoned you, your brother and your uncle, to our next meeting. 
which comes up in three days' time. And what did the chief priest say? It is better you hear it from the horse's mouth on that day. I would suggest you go home and wait patiently because three days is just around the corner. So you go home and have a rest. I suspect a foul play. This is why Bago go overhead. They have put the ball against your head and you're just here doing nothing. What are you insinuating? Baby, these people have been bribed. Your brother and your uncle have bribed everyone. The same way they bribed the Igwe and the chief priest and they took away your birthright. Baby, you're about to lose in this battle. The truth shall prevail. The truth shall prevail. If they're trying to gang up against me, to rob me of my birthright, I am going to fight them with everything in me. And the four in my father's house will fight for me. At the end of the day, I shall be victorious. No man born of a woman shall take away my birthright. Never. Never! It will never happen. Why would the king want to see you all? <laughs> what else you know what Ebuna told him? Ebuna told them that we are planning to collect his birthright. Oh, Chiregodo. So it was even Ebuna that reported you to the king? Mm hmm. His unguided quest for power and, and, and wealth is making him do stupid things. Unfortunately, he has planned his downfall. That birthright he seeks after will be freely given to him. But I do hope he will appreciate his true birthright. I really hope so. It's happening. Hey. We'll see the king. We are going to see the king. Theophilus, we called you here for a purpose. The chief priest said that there is something you know about your late brother's son that we don't know. He said, if you fail to let us know about it, it will spell doom to this kingdom. No! No! I'm so sorry I couldn't keep to my way. The arrogance and disobedience of your foster son have forced me to reveal the truth, the dark truth. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I couldn't keep the secret. Any longer, the way you kept mine to you now. No, you can't continue like this. It's three days now that she died. You have to put yourself together and plan for her burial. She is dead means that she is dead. There is nothing you do that will bring her back to life. 
I'm not bothered about her death anymore. What is bothering you now? The truth she told me before she died. What truth? If Naya deceived me for 20 years of my life with her. What exactly are you talking about? My brother, I'm just coming from the hospital. Where I went for a DNA test to confirm what she told me. And the result was in the affirmative. DNA test. And what did they say? Ibuna is not my son. He is my colleague's son, Ebuka's son. You remembered when I was working with my boss? And one afternoon, I came back home and told you that a girl was pregnant for me? Yes, I, I, I do. She lied. I was not responsible for her pregnancy. My colleague Ebuka was. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what to do. Should I send the boy away? Or should I continue living with him? Pretending to be his father when I already know the truth? To tell you the truth, this is a very delicate matter. We will not need to rush into taking decision on this. We we'll just take our time. and think out a solution. See, brother, I am confused. Totally confused. Anyway, just give me three days. Hmm? Give me three days. Let me come up with a solution. As long as that boy is concerned, he is your son, and you remain his father. The same way Ndudi was born, and you were told that you are his father, and you believed it. If if Nanya had not revealed the truth to you, you would still be calling that boy Ebuna your son. Hmm. You are very right. Keep this secret to ourselves. The same way, if Nanya hid it from you for years, you will still be calling him son, and he will be calling you father. Don't we? Yes, we can. If you can keep the secret to yourself and promise not to tell anyone someday, I give you my word. With the love. We shared since bed. Your little secret remains mine. Disobedience of your foster son. Please forgive me. Forgive me. This pride and arrogance led to this. They pack you no green. 
and they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. Before they... Something is still bothering me. What is it again? Brother, now that I'm the owner of this kingdom, it is the tradition that when I pass on, my first son will have to bring the news to the palace of my demise and also bring this gift. After which the chief priest will arrange the handover to my son three months after burial. Now, who will take the news of my demise to the king? Your first son, of course. It's your first son that will uh, take over the title of Uru in the event of your personal way. You don't seem to get it, do you? Maybe I don't. This is a secret ritual. It is only the true son of the Ono. I mean, his true blood that can perform that ritual. And if the true blood does not do it, it will not be recognized by the gods. And don't forget, this is arranged by the gods to ensure that no one steals the office of the Ono or is able to buy it. Okay. Okay. I now get you. So what do we do in this situation? I now get you. Okay. Okay. It is only true son of Ono mm -hmm. that can take the message to the uh, 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 palace. Yes. And the gods will recognize it. Yes. The law mm. did not say it is one of Onohu's son that will go. Since the law did not say it is one of Onohu's son, go. two of them can go to the palace. Mm. Once Onohu's true blood is present, the gods will recognize it. And then the process starts. Uh, there's no problem. And you mean that after three months, the first son cannot be made Onohu? Exactly. Now, you are a genius. <laughs> ah! The gods have really blessed you with wisdom. Yes. Lord, you stick to that water. <laughs> Someone who's not fighting back. Why are 
Okay, so what is yours has finally returned to you. Welcome back to your house, Uncle. Being a true son of your father all this while, <laughs> he must be proud of you wherever he is right now. <laughs> At last, Lord blood is thicker than water. <laughs> Let's go in. No. Thank you. 